Watch in the morning, rise and say hi to the sun. You no, know we got a lot of work to do, and there's enough for everyone. The rain's gonna be coming soon. We got a lot of wood to move. We gotta keep this family dry if it's the only thing we do. Give me a simple life. In the Hello, my name is David James Heckman, and I'm getting to know Maui. What I'm doing here is I'm basically starting a show that's gonna be, uh, well, you can even be on it. Anybody on Maui can be on this show. There's a lot of nonprofit organizations on the, on the island here, and there's a lot of people that do a lot of interesting things on the island here, and I'm getting really excited to get to know each and every one of you. I want to say thank you for letting me be here. Thank you for letting me use the facilities here at Akaku for the technicians and stuff. And if you guys see any mistakes, don't take it too harsh, you know, because if the screen flips upside down or if there's like an earthquake or something, or if, um, you know, I get pilled to nowhere, you know. It's just because we're using volunteer personnel. These guys are out here getting certified and learning how to use the equipment. So you never know what's going to happen in one of my shoots. Um, I might end up with my name across my nose, or I might end up with the camera pointed at my feet. You know, or I might end up with just who knows what. It's part of the learning process, and we're real patient down here at Akaku, and we're willing to work with people and work with others and try to do the best professional job that we can, which is 100% professional with a few learning curves. I'm ready to get to know Maui. Are you ready to get to know me? You know, I was over at the bank one day and I had my little niece with me one day and, uh, you know, she's pretty young yet. She's still grab, you know, a leg grabber and uh, we were walking into the bank there and we get into the bank and we're standing in line and there's a Samoa woman, Samoan woman, she's standing right in front of us and my little niece, she says, uncle. Uncle, man, that lady is big. She is really, really big. I looked at her and said, it's not polite to say that. It's not polite to say that. Shh. But Uncle, she's really big. Just about that time her beeper went off. Beep, 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 beep. So my niece, she grabbed me by the leg and said, come on, Uncle, watch out, she's backing up. She started pulling me out of the way. What are you supposed to do? I love my nieces and brothers and sisters and everybody and all my aunties and uncles out there and everybody on the island. Let's get to know Mal, one day at a time. I've managed to come over across from the mainland and be able to say hello and thank you for letting me stay on the island and eat from the food sources that you have and everything that you do have. I appreciate it very much. Um, I appreciate you letting me find my way here slowly. And one of the people that I've had the, uh, the pleasure to meet and an opportunity to meet is a general contractor here in Maui. This is uh, Gary Cocker. He's uh, a general contractor on the uh, west side of the island over towards Lahaina. He does general contracting work. I've had Gary come on the show so that we can uh, talk about what he does and how we met and you know, basic stuff. How are you doing today, Gary? <laughs> I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, I appreciate you coming on and taking your time and taking a day out of your busy schedule and coming on down and saying hello to Maui. My pleasure. Um, for everybody at Maui, hello to you. Hello. I met you through a labor, labor force here that puts people out to work and you were one of the places that I had the opportunity to first come to and actually do some work. In what you do, um, I noticed that there's a lot of challenges in your job also. 
And I'd like to ask you a few questions about him, if you would. Sure. Um, how do you get your job? Most of our jobs come by word of mouth. Um, we'll work in one building, um, one condominium building, and the people next door, the people above, other people down the street will come and see what we're doing and then talk to us and ask us to remodel or give them a price on remodeling their unit too. And that's how we get most of our work. So how long does one of these jobs usually last? Um, well, if we do a total renovation, it's going to take 8 to 12 weeks. Total renovation means that we'll tear all the flooring up, cabinets, we pretty much strip it down to bare walls. Start out with new plumbing, new electrical, new drywall, all the way through to the end, including the furniture. What do you guys do with that furniture, basically, when you, you know, when you get rid of it? Um, it's been a challenge on some of them to get rid of the existing furniture when we get rid of it, you mean? Yeah. Um, we try to give it away as much as we can to somebody that can need it, but we've had trouble doing that. We, we do have a source where a person comes, takes it all out. Mm -hmm. He boxes it up and, and ships it off to the mainland to be either sold or given away. So how do you bid a remodel? Carefully. Carefully? What do you mean by carefully? Well, because you're, you're bidding the unknown. Um, we're not sure what's inside walls once we open them up. So the way we kind of bid the jobs is we've done so many of them now, we know about what's going to be wrong when we open it up. Uh, we know how long it's going to take us to remove all the, all the stuff that's in the unit, demo the unit, um, and then carry on with everything brand new again. So who picks out the materials you're going to use? Um, it's a combination between us and the owners. We want the owners to pick out the materials that they're going to use in, in the unit themselves. Um, and a lot of times we'll, go, we'll, we'll take them through units that we have done and they will like the materials that have been used there. They kind of blend in with the Hawaiian Island theme. And uh, sometimes they want to change the paint color or change the granite color a little bit. For the most part though, they, they pretty much like what we've been using on other people's units. In what order do you do a job? What comes first? Uh, the very first thing we're going to do is get rid of the furnishings that are in the unit. I have a, our guy come in and take out all the furniture, appliances. Um, everything that's not bolted down the unit, he takes it away. And then we bring in a demolition crew and demolish the inside of the unit, remove the cabinets, remove the drywall, wiring that isn't needed, plumbing that isn't needed, bathtubs, fixtures, and all that stuff gets torn out um, until we take it down to bare, bare floors and bare walls, bare studs, actually. Um, so like if you, when you rip off the walls, you know, when you take the uh, drywall. drywall off or you pull out a cabinet and you found that there's been a leak for like, you know, a real long time, you see all the mold and just the crud that's underneath there, you know, it's all mixed together and whatnot. What steps do you take to, uh, to fix this? Well, that's certainly something we can't leave. Um, most of the time, if there's been a real problem inside the wall, especially water, will show up on the outside of the wall as well as the inside. Um, same if there's bugs traveling in and out or termites or something in the wood. So usually there's some signs that we could see that maybe lead us to believe that there'd be some potential problems. And if not, once we open up the walls and find something that we didn't think was going to be there, then we go back and tell the owners about it and see what they want to do. And if need be, we replace it all. We want the units to last another 12 to 15 years for them. That's about the lifespan on a rental unit for a renovation. So it's a uh it's challenging work too. It is. But you guys pretty much have your system down? We've been doing it for a long time. We have a good good bunch of employees and subcontractors so we can go in there and do these units with make them look really nice and send them out. Well how long have you been a contractor? Uh, I've been in the construction business for over 35 years. Um, it's the very first job I had and I've been doing it all my life. Mostly on the mainland before I came we built new houses. Uh, there's not as many new houses on this island to build, so we're doing more renovations. Just the west side alone, there's 30,000 condominiums, and they all need to be renovated right now. Wow. Mm -hmm. so That's a lot of work. There's a lot of work to be done. So where did you do all your uh, contracting work before? Uh, in south of Seattle, in Washington. So we've been building houses in that area since 1978. 1978. And most of the places we'd, we'd buy the lots, we'd, we'd build out a whole neighborhood. So we're almost like a spec builder in Washington. I got tired of that, I got tired of the weather, so I came over to Maui. Cool.
How do you pick your subcontractors here on the island? I mean, there's a lot of people that you don't know, but... Um, that's always a difficult task once you're starting out. Um, again, we've, we go word of mouth on some contractors who have done better than others. Uh, we have to make sure that they're reliable, they do good work, and they're affordable. And so it's a little bit of trial and error until you find the ones you like. And then we, once I build a team, we keep the whole team for every job. And we use that team from start to finish. Then the subcontractors, they know what I want from them, and I know what they need to have so they can do their job. And, and if they do good work, then we keep them. We use them over and over and over again so that we all stay busy. Good. Hey, guys. If you guys are watching out there, man, haven't seen you in a while, but I know you're there. I know from Gary. Have a good day and a good night. Awesome. I haven't seen you guys in quite a while. I mean, I have to go over to that side of the island and say hello. What's the warranty you give a customer when you're done with a remodel? Well, the legal warranty is one year on everything that's in the units. Um, my philosophy has always been is that if there's something goes wrong in the second or third or any year that shouldn't have happened, then I'll go in and take care of it. Um, again, that reputation that we have is very important. We do things right, we do it right, we do it nice for the people. So, but legally there's a one-year warranty. My standards is a lifetime warranty. Do you need to be able to get permits, bid permits, and what other permits do you need to be able to do these jobs? Unless we're doing something structurally, if we don't, if we, if we change, if we remove a wall that's structurally holding up this building, then we have to have a building permit for that. Um, if we're just cosmetic, which is 90% of our work, um, we don't need a building permit for that. Um, no. We do get plumbing and electrical permits because if we're changing the plumbing drain system or, um, or any change in any wiring system, we get electrical permits just to make sure that it's been done right and signed off by the county. Hmm. If we have to do an addition, which we've done in the past, and add structure, add footies to the, to the unit, then we have to get a building permit. And that takes a set of plans drawn by an architect and has to be stamped by an engineer and submitted to the county. The problem with that is, is that it's such a, it was such a back, backlog, uh, it would take over a year to get a building permit. So we certainly didn't want to get involved in that. It's just too, too far out of a time frame. Right. Well, Gary, I'd like to thank Thank you for coming out on being on the it. show, man. Appreciate it a lot. Is there anything out, anybody out there you want to say hello to? Or? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, a little too nervous for that. All right. I'd like to say on to the next guest.